Let's take a look at how we can create a very quick three-dimensional model based upon a site plan. Here we're going to use the uh, mass objects, but before we get there, let's see what we have. Just tilting around our model there, taking a bit of an aerial view, we'll see we've got uh, a photograph underneath. Now, that we've brought in using the survey tools, Survey 2, GSAT and MSAT, we can bring in the tiles uh, direct from the aerial mapping sites. Then, using the caddy tools in the advanced objects, we can stitch those together into one image, which we can then uh, scale to be the right size, so we can rescale, we can rescale from points here, setting our units to meters if that's what we wish to do. So we have our, our backdrop, and just to uh, cover all uh, things here, we can insert that as a picture into our, our drawing. Having got that far, we can then simply draw polylines uh, around our, our buildings. So if we go to View and Top View, for instance, and we'll come into an area here. Now, if you're wanting to set up construction lines to get things nice and neat, you can do that, or we could just go straight for a, a polyline. And trace over that there, so we'll say close, and then having got that, I'm just going to turn off the, uh, the picture so we can see the polyline there, select the polyline, go to make mass element, now here I'm working in meters, so we're not going to go for a thousand if we made that say 25, so 25 meters tall, and then we just rotate around, we can see we have our, our model. And you'll notice as well that if I pick on the surface of these, I can make these bigger and smaller. And if I'd like to make it say 10 meters tall, I could just type in 10 and use the up arrow. So that's how uh, we can manipulate our models, um, pulling them around to suit. Turn back on the the images, and there we are.